Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Today, we custom paint an Urban Devil art toy. So, we turn this already limited edition art toy into this. A one-off, painted by yours truly. That's good. Mats and tools are all sponsored by the following brands. So today we airbrush and we do a bit of freehand too. Oh, by the way, the model or like the art toy that I painted is up for auction at artoysph.com. My son also painted his own version and it's also up for auction at the same website. I'll put the link below. My daughters are also painting their own art toys next month. I actually never say no to Artoys PH. Artoys PH is the group or the company that like holds these events, auction events of Artoys. And these Artoys are mostly designed by fellow Filipino artists. That's why I always support them. By the way, I'm painting or priming with Mecca Gray Primer, which is semi too white, but I ran out of Mecca Black Primer, and I need this painting to be extra durable. That's why I'm using Mecca paints. Now we paint with Mecca Pure Black. I rarely use this paint because usually you prime with Mecca Black Primer. But again, I ran out of Mecca Black Primer and I'm also low on surface primer. But I highly recommend the Mecca primers and varnishes because they're extra durable. After airbrushing the Mecca like pure black, I'll be handling this toy a lot because I'll be brush painting so I let it cure for at least a couple of hours. I decided to paint this ultramarine though and it took around 6 to 8 hours thus the pure black cured for around the same time. My daughter Sam actually painted her first art toy like a few months ago or a couple of months ago and she had a blast so she and her ate, her older sister Nico which you are familiar with because she has her own YouTube channel will be painting their own art toy next month. My kids are actually planning of like creating their own art toys and as for me I plan to learn sculpting. I have two dream jobs when I was growing up actually and I ended up at the middle because my first dream job is like sculpting and creating my own toys or figures and models and then my second dream job is to paint for like Lord of the Rings like the the set and the diorama and stuff like that so I kind of like fell in the middle because I paint now and although I really want to do sculpting. Don't get me wrong, painting is super fun and painting models sculpted by other people is super fun. But when I was about to take college, I wanted to take up sculpture. But my dad told me there is no money in sculpture. So I took up like advertising. Still fine arts, but advertising instead. My parents supported my art since I was a kid. I even did watercolor like classes when I was 12 years old. So they're all out in terms of support and materials for art. But I never actually fulfilled my dream, my personal dream of trying to sculpt stuff. So to be honest, I'm actually trying to research and do 3D sculpting again. I used to do that like 20 years ago when I like first graduated from college. And now I have to review and look up what like what softwares to use since I really want to take up like sculpture again. 
I will still paint of course so don't unsub yet <laughs> and but I but I plan to like slowly build up my skills in terms of sculpting and you don't know if like one one of these days I'll be like giving you free STL stuff at my Patreon I guess and then I'll be painting my own sculpts Okay, now back to the model. We're using our highlight sauce. I should have called this detail sauce and it's awesome. Just don't mix too much because it's going to be a bit transparent and like too flowy or a bit too fluid. So just use enough like around three parts paint and half part highlight sauce. Something like that and you'll be able to draw or paint anything. Now we airbrush the flow color. We're going to be flowing this model or this art toy. So I thinned it around 4 to 5 parts flow color and 1 part thinning sauce. The great thing about inks, flow colors, and transparent paints is that when you paint them over black, meaning you over spray or over paint or like paint them over dark areas they won't really like mess it up because they're transparent paints oh by the way if you've noticed i painted like a semi medium gray color on the eyes of this art toy so that our white paint will have like a very good underpainting before we paint it over the eyes so it's very frustrating to like paint white over black if it doesn't have underpaint so I highly recommend flow colors, they're very vibrant and you could actually use them to glaze your miniatures or models so that the base colors will be extra vibrant. Now we do a quick freehand. I think I mix a small amount of highlight sauce and a little bit of thinner medium just to have like a milk consistency in terms of the paint so that you have really good control and you still have very opaque colors. I use white gray here and not white. Never, I never use white directly over black because it's gonna have its ugly faces or ugly like stage. So I use white gray which is more opaque than white. Now we're almost done and we're going to seal the whole art toy with Mecha Satin Varnish. Again, I highly recommend Mecha Primers, Mecha Paints, and Mecha Varnishes. They're extra durable and I think they are marketed as the most durable paints that Vallejo has. Thin the varnish one is to one with thinning sauce and then paint in two thin coats let dry in between coats. Ta-da! <laughs> we're, we're done. So, we actually shipped this art toy and my son's art toy to Art Toy PH after around 6 hours of curing and it's currently on auction at the Art Toys PH website. Again, I'll put the link below. My son's art toy, the video, will be up at Nico's channel soon. Ta-da! Again, <laughs> it glows in the dark. Naturally, because we use flow paints. Flow paints glow under UV light and they're awesome. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!